Welcome to this week's Fan Vittles. I, uh, I didn't get my Vittle on last week, and uh, that's because, you know, sometimes life just happens, but that's all right. We're going to continue our momentum, continue rolling, and uh, for this week, before I finish editing this video, I will have done Capital Peak, which I'm really excited about. I'm going to get to do that with a friend, so I think we're going to have a lot of fun up there. Really looking forward to the knife edge. Hopefully, it lives up to the hype. I don't know. We'll see. But if it does, I want to make sure, you know, my belly's packed with some, some good food and it's going to help me rip right around that thing. Well, right across that thing, I should say. And uh, so I figure what better than a good old salmon burger from back home. This was on the menu at least once a week and just a staple in our household. Hasn't been a staple since I've been out here in Colorado for the last few years, but uh, I do have a can of... Uh, sockeye salmon from back home up there in Bristol Bay. So let's go ahead get into the van and get this one started. ingredients uh the onion the parsley and the uh pepper those are going to go into our mix and then the tomato is going to be a topper once our burger is done now before we go ahead and mix in the rest of our ingredients which is going to be a little bit of breadcrumb and some egg as a binder i want to give a couple notes first of all one thing i've noticed people make life too complicated but there are a few rules that i think if you live by it makes life pretty simple and one of the rules that i'm following tonight is Dress for success. I'm making salmon burgers. You know I got the salmon headband on. So just, you know, keep it simple. Dress for success. And uh, let's continue on. Okay, can we just take a moment before we continue on and make these into patties and fry them up to just appreciate the color of this mixture. You know, keeping it simple, not getting too crazy. We're gonna let that salmon come out. We're gonna let that take the main flavor. But of course, you know, we got some herbs in there and uh, I mean, when's onion not appropriate and some bell pepper, so we got those in there. Now, although I'm not at the beach, It sure doesn't mean I can't feel like I'm at the beach. With this here, uh, Mountain Beach by the Breckenridge Brewing Company. Now, this is almost a dessertier type beer. It is quite fruity and it is absolutely delicious. It uh, says bright and tart with pineapple, lime, and guava. And uh, now it makes me want to kind of hop in the water and get my party wave on, but you know, not the situation. So let's go ahead form up those patties and enjoy the rest of our evening. I've got my super colorful patties just cooking away there. Now I turn the heat down to maybe like a medium or so and I'm gonna let those go for three, four minutes. Really make sure they get a crispy, crispy uh, finish there on the other side uh, because when I flip those, I don't want them falling apart or anything like that. I wanna kinda bring in a few things as well. I did add a few egg whites after I was done making that mixture just because I needed a little bit more coherence. Um, as far as opening your canned meats, now I'm not going to tell you what to do with your canned meats, but 
you're one of those people who opens up the can, dumps the juice down the garbage disposal or down the sink. Who am I kidding? I don't have a garbage disposal. Um, stop. Seriously, knock that off. You know, that is good stuff. In this situation, I don't need the juice, but that you know in my next stir fry, yeah, this is going in there. So keep that stuff. It's absolute gold. I'm gonna let those fry up for about three, four minutes, flip them. I'm just gonna put them on some uh, bread. I'm gonna toast up some bread, make a little side salad, clean up the kitchen, and then uh, chomp down. So let's keep it going. Well, I can taste home with that one. Makes me feel like I'm out there in Passaic Shack, drinking a cold one. On the beach, feel a little bit closer to the ocean, but uh, that's gonna do it for me. Woo! All right, you know the drill. If uh, you wanna see more of this stuff, you gotta like, subscribe, and uh, I'll keep it coming. Sorry for last week's lack of upload. And uh, like I said, go ahead, like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next week.